Hey guys, what's going on? This is going to be a gameplay with a Vector K10. A, uh, this is going to be a video about the gameplay. Um, yeah, I know I've been doing like some more like sort of political kind of videos, and those are here to stay. I do like the debating, and uh, the off-topic stuff is definitely here to stay, but gameplay is definitely here to stay too. So here's a game I got with the Vector K10. This gameplay is about a week old. You can tell because I was playing a lot of Call of Duty a week ago, and my aim is just on point this game. It's just straight up snap aim really good and my, my gameplay I post tomorrow is not it's not even close to as snap aim as this but you see right here rocking the vector k10 probably one of the most one of the more inferior submachine guns it's not terrible but it's not an MSMC and it's definitely not a uh, a PDW so um, tips and tricks I can give with this gun uh, the guns got a pretty fast reload so if you um, if you're rushing there's less you're less likely to get caught off guard while you're reloading, which is pretty huge. If Fast Mags is very, very powerful in this game because the maps are so tight and chaotic. It seems like a waste to run it. It really does seem like a waste to run it. You're like, oh, I should run Quick Draw or something like that. But the, the maps are so chaotic in this game that Fast Mags saves your life so many times. And it does this game. I'm running Fast Mags with the K, uh, Vector K10. And it's sort of a waste with the Vector K10 because the Vector K10 already has a very, very fast stock reload and the fast mags work off percentage it doesn't reduce the time by a set amount like it doesn't like it's not like one second less on reloading it's uh it's a percentage so uh a, a weapon with a really really long reload time is going to benefit more from fast mags than say the vector would that has a, a quick one but with that being said it's still really really good because a really fast reload is going to save your ass a lot unfortunately i die right there i make a pretty bad decision and i didn't look that way Completely my fault. And I start playing like shit right here. I see gold. This happens to me. Look at look at all the dog tags on the map. I'm just like rush, 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 rush. Get dog tags, get dog tags, get dog tags. Because I know I got the loop going. I got the loop going. And I make bad, bad decisions. Unfortunately, I start two barring right here. Which is not uh, not the greatest thing in the world. But I see gold. And you'll, you'll see my, I call in the dogs in the swarm. They're getting a ton of kills. It's actually not a very good idea to call in the dogs in the swarm at the same time. Because your swarm will kill your dogs. And so will, um, like a warthog. Don't call in a warthog and dogs at the same time. Because your warthog will just destroy your dogs. It's not worth doing. Uh, things like the attack helicopter, though. The attack helicopter and the escort drone. Since they're AI and since they're precision. Uh, like precision gunners on, um, uh, in the kill streak, They don't kill your dogs. From what I've seen, they don't kill your dogs. And again, make some, make some bad decisions. I see, start, I see gold for the... Um, that little part, but I, I get back, get back in the groove right here and start getting another loop going, and, um, yeah, this is, this is by far my favorite loop in the game because the escort drone is so good for rushing. If you are a, a really defensive player and you're playing with an assault rifle with your loadout, don't run the escort drone, it's not worth it because you're going to be stationary, you're going to be sitting back playing the long lines of sight, but if you have an SMG and you're rushing like I'm rushing right now, Use the escort drone. It's a monster, and this is coming from a guy that didn't like the uh, what would the uh, uh, Overwatch in Modern Warfare 3. I did not like the Overwatch in Modern Warfare 3. I thought it was a waste, but in this game, the escort drone rapes. And the thing with the escort drone is, you ha you want to be able to put that escort drone in a place of high traffic, and I do a pretty good job in this game. Uh, you'll notice I try to stay inside when I have the escort drone up. Like in this building right here in particular, you get inside this building. And your escort drone has shots across the map. It has lines of sight everywhere. And you want to be sure that escort drone has a line of sight on the enemy spawn. And you will wreck people. And uh, you'll just see it right now. That escort drone. And this is a very mild game when it comes to escort drone kills. My uh, my 95 and 1 game that I posted about the YouTube changes. My escort drone got me like like 17 kills. Just one of them. And you'll see right. And look at this right here. Look at this loop. I got the loop going now, baby. And check this out. Look at my dogs just go to work. Look at my dogs. I'm just gonna uh, let my dogs do the work, run around the back door, and collect the spoils. Get those dog tags, and keep this loop going. Keep the loop going. Get them puppies. Get them little German shepherds. Fucking awesome. I love. I love when you get. And this is why. This is why Black Ops 2 is so fun. Because when you get games like this, you get hooked. It's like winning the lottery. It's like gambling. Because this it is like gambling, because your percentages of getting a game like this 
are pretty low because there's a lot of luck involved, there's a lot of connection involved, especially rushing like I'm doing. Uh, I'm getting into a lot of connection based gunfights where if I had a, uh, a, a really, I have, I'm on a, like a 3 bar right now, but if I had like a, an, a super inferior connection, I think everybody in the lobby was lagging a little bit, so that probably helped me. But there's a lot of variables and you can get screwed over really easily. And you'll see later in this gameplay, I do get screwed over and luck fucks me over. But, um, it's a lot of fun. I like that the kill streaks are good in this game. The kill streaks being good is awesome. Because in Modern Warfare 3, in Modern Warfare 3, the assault kill streaks were so bad that most people didn't even use them. There's my third swarm of the game right there. Uh, that they were so bad that people didn't even use them. The, the Osprey Gunner in Modern Warfare 3, a 17 kill streak, would get you like one kill. And you get shot down. You get shot down before it even get on the map. This game, your your 17 kill streak. What's the 17 kill streak in this game? Uh, I think like VTOL Warship is the 17 kill streak. I think dogs are 19. That thing, dude. Jeez. I think actually I think dogs are actually a 19 kill streak. Gets you a shitload of kills. Uh, I like that. The the kill streaks are good, and they're hard to get. Don't get me wrong. The kill streaks are very hard to get, but they're rewarding when you get them. Unfortunately. My own fucking swarm kills me, and that's something I don't like. The highest kill streak in the game should not kill you. So, yeah, not fucking happy there. Uh, I started playing like shit. Final score 86 and 6. I started dying a lot after that happened. I got, yeah, I, was, I was pretty irritated, as you can tell. But 86 and 6. Black Ops 2 is a lot of fun. They should just patch it to where your own swarm can't kill you because that's, come on, that's ridiculous. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. One take commentary, late night chilling. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys next time. And I'll have some more gameplay commentaries out soon. Peace. Guess what these fucking guys do? I flash my energy sword at them. What are they going to do? Run up. They're just going to fucking, both of them, just going to run up on me. One, two. I was dying on my live stream, man. I've. <laughs> That's the thing, dude. Like, in Halo, it's really hard to get, like, super beast gameplay.